Hi, I'm Pastor Mark. You know, sometimes doing the will of God can make you popular. Other times, it can get you into trouble, especially with those who like the status quo just the way it is. In Acts chapter 3, Peter and John are used by God to bring healing to a man who had been unable to walk for 38 years. After that, we read this. Then he went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. Now that created quite a stir and attracted quite a crowd. And Peter used this opportunity to preach an impromptu sermon while the formerly lame man still held on to him. It seemed like things were going great. But in the middle of the sermon, Peter and John were arrested and thrown into jail. They jailed them, they tried them, they threatened them, but they ultimately could not hold them. So they let them go, and when they did, it says Peter and John went back to their own people. The New King James Version says they went back to their companions. Who are these companions? They're the ones described in Acts 4 as being filled with the Holy Spirit and of one heart and soul. They were the ones who loved Jesus and were committed to sharing his gospel. Now that's the kind of company all of us need to rely on when we seek to do the will of God. Those are the sort of folk that we need in our lives for support and help even as we face trials in life. It's been said that your company determines your conduct, your conduct determines your character, and your character determines your destiny. So ask God to lead you to the right companions. When you find them and fall in line, you will wonder how you ever made it through life without them. You need them. Well, that's all for today. God bless you, and I'll see you in church on Sunday.